Hey everybody, so back to the shop, getting things done. Basically getting Sage's bus all set up and ready to go. When he's back in bend, he's gonna have to get a T for this. So basically the propane comes from the back into the stove and then it'll tee off from the stove to the propane water heater. Testing the diesel heater right now. Waiting for that diesel to get from the tank in the back to here. It's a long run, so it's taking a little bit of time for it to prime, but it is starting to get a little warm. I'm starting to feel a little bit of warmth in the, uh, in the exhaust of the uh, the diesel heater it's starting to get a little warm too so a little bit of diesel is making it there but it needs to you know that pump has to get that that line full before it'll kick on got some latches for the doors so they don't swing open as he's driving I actually might have to head back to the bus I forgot his shower head but other than that Sage is ready to get on the road he has all his stuff unpacked in here he's gonna be heading back to Bend they're going to probably repaint it, get the curtains and the cushions, whatever they want to do on that, uh, get all their stuff moved in, and yeah, they'll be hitting the road. The uh, set power fridge is on, working. He went to Walmart last night, picked up some groceries for his trip today. We decided, we decided not to fill up the fresh water tank just because he's going to be going through some freezing conditions. And if he does go in and stays with family for a night, if the diesel heater still needs a prime and it's not warm enough to stay in here, don't want the water going into the faucet or the water pump and blowing up. So we're just going to wait to fill up the fresh water until he gets to bend, um, you know, until they, they get everything all set up and ready to go. But Zep 6 is about to hit the road with its new owner for six months to a year, however long. All right, putting you on the spot stage. What do you think of the new bus? It's great. I'm super stoked, ready to hit the road and get going on this. So what, what's the plan after here? You're going to Denver? Yeah, I'm going to the Denver area. I've got family there. I'm going to spend maybe two days there and then kind of beeline in straight for Bend. And five days? Yeah, probably about five days. So in terms of the layout right now, what customization, what, what are you going to change? Uh... First order of business is probably getting some cushions here. Um, I'm thinking we'll probably paint once we're on the road. It's not it's not urgent for us, but we'll probably do some some accent painting and that kind of stuff. I think I'm probably gonna make this shower, like get a shower curtain for it, but then maybe a second rod for it and use it as a closet. And then anytime we want a shower, we can just take the whole rod of clothing out. Um, and then probably some lights. It was a little little on the dim side last night, like back there in the bed and up here. So I think just maybe some string lights that are on on a battery pack or whatever. Like the, the LED yeah. variant or whatever. Yeah, yeah that, that'd be cool. Yeah, because I mean, especially because we're in the shop right now, it definitely shows how dark it is, like right, in the yeah. shower for sure, up over the bed. And I think Brian actually installed some LED yeah, lights, correct? Yeah, some, like, some ones that magnet up to the, the sides of the bus. and. Um, I think I actually own some of those already and some, some string like the copper wire string lights. So yeah, figure out what works best for the space and go from there. And also you have a ton of flat space next to the office area there. Yes. Feel free to add cabinets. Feel free to add spice racks to the side of the, uh, the kitchen there as for well. Sure, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking to probably put like a charging wall for camera gear on, oh, on cool. this one. Um, so that I've got it all in one place. Uh, yeah. And then spice racks, Probably figure out something something in here as far as like dividing it. Pots yeah. and cans on one side, food food pantry stuff on the other. Have you seen those uh, Amazon like little shelves? Like uh, I have them in my bus. I, I can show them to you. But basically they're tall and they have three different levels to them. Mm -hmm. And you can put a little bungee on the front to keep things from going back and forth. So, yeah. so it helps with the vertical storage. Yeah. Maybe something to look into. You talking about like kind of the over sink ones? Uh, no, or like for, for, under there. for, for your under. Okay. Little, oh, a little three tier. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Take advantage of that height in there. Yeah. Plenty of space in this cabinet here. All righty, man. Cool. Take travels. Thanks, man. Okay. Sage is on the road. Zep six is officially in use. Now we're going to ZEP5. This is the 7.3 liter diesel. This is going to be more of a showpiece, as I mentioned before. I'm gonna do a raised roof on the back there. I'm gonna do a four x four conversion. Gonna have to get some custom metal work done on this bad boy. 
but I'm going to start taking out the windows, start prepping it for the back half roof raise. And that is next on the list. Going to knock this bad boy out. Uh, in terms of other projects, we have to go pick up the other two buses that I purchased and the bus that just got half, well, all the woodwork's done. Got that with a contractor here in Wichita. Going to pay for that tomorrow, drive it back here and then have some work to do on that. That's a whole different project that I'll catch you all up on later, but it's very exciting. It's really cool. I'm really stoked that it's happening. And yes, moving forward. Got no fridge, oh, this guitar will be my main bitch, oh yeah. And I'm living out under the bridge, this flask of jack is gonna tuck me in, oh yeah. Oh well, the fire don't burn as bright when you're not by my side. Oh well, the fire don't burn as hard. Whether I, oh, whether I like it or not, whether I feed it or not. That fire don't burn as bright when you're not by my side. Oh, well, the fire don't burn as hard, whether I go, oh, whether I like it or not, whether I feed it or not. My cardboard sign is wearing two shades of hungry and I'm homeless. Okay. Another day, everybody. We My have Richard hey, working at the shop now. You might know him from Little House on the Highways. You can see Hector's bus is now outside, going through some uh, some coolant, trying to figure out a uh, good way to get his bus back in shape. He lost his heater on the way home, and it's still a little chilly out here. What I'm showing you right now is actually step four. So I bought this bus right at the beginning of the pandemic. It's finally been built out. It's gonna look very familiar because it is a direct replica of uh, ZEP 3 that's on the road with Brian right now. So, go ahead and give you a peek inside. Very similar. It doesn't have any electricity or plumbing. We're gonna be doing that. It's basically the woodwork. We worked with a guy here local in Wichita he absolutely knocked it out. We actually paid him more than he was asking for for the build uh, just because he did such a good job and we're wanting to work long term with him. So we have ZEP 5 and ZEP 4 right next to each other. This one's going for a side project. As I said before, this is going to be more of an extensive project and we're getting more people at the shop. So Richard's here helping out now. He is looking at different rigs and Hector, which his bus out here, he's considering coming back and uh, working in the shop as well. We'll see how that plays out. But the roof raise turned out fantastic. So the big windows he got on the side here, one of them came damaged. So they're trying to get that figured out right now. But it is a really nice roof raise. Go ahead and show this to you. Hey everybody. So back at the shop, Wes and Richard have been busy on this roof raise here. You can see they got the vertical supports with the angle iron right here so the sheet metal can attach. 
I'll be helping these guys on this today because next we're going to cut up ZEP 5. So this is the one that we're doing the roof raise on and you may be asking why we're doing a roof raise on a mini school bus 4x4 conversion. That's because we are doing something completely custom. I haven't seen this done in a school bus before and we need the vertical height to install this system. So what we have here is a happy jack bed lift system. So this is gonna go in the back of the bus. The bed is gonna lift up on the rear of the bus. And what we're gonna do is actually create a little bit of a living room area right here in the back. So the bed lift is going to go in this area right here. And then when the bed's lifted up, this is gonna be like a little dinette area. We're gonna have a table, like a lagoon table that pushes down flat um, whenever the bed comes down. And then whenever the bed is back up, that table will lift up, the bed can come up, and then this will be like a little living room area. Still working on the CAD design of this, but I got a pretty solid idea of what I'm gonna do. Um, basically kitchen area up front, shower, uh, storage through here, little bench seat with a jump seat right up there, and then just benches all through here, which will house our water, our solar components, all that good stuff. So once this roof raise gets done, we're gonna be cutting this thing in half and doing the same thing. And something would be really cool with this, we're gonna leave this door on. So in this living room area, as you're hanging out back here, say you're boondocking or whatever, you're gonna have this door that opens up. You're also gonna have this door that opens up. So you'll have like this really cool little inside outside area. We're also going to be removing all the school bus windows. This will get sheet metal on the side and we will be using some of these windows over here that we picked up from a shop local here in Wichita. But we just have all these different windows that we're able to play with, throw in there, and I am stoked to get started. So, like I said, we're gonna finish this up right here and switch over to the mini. <laughs> 